on the mission of helping those suffering from infertility and there's so much suffering in this world and we're and dr rob kiltsey my fertility hello sorry i've been gone emmy emily hello jay bay show hello emily uh clarabelle hi hi to everyone uh we got our instagram and our facebook uh really uh, i've missed you guys uh but i've taken some really good time focusing on some other things abe 1020 ab 1015 hello Heather, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Andrea Lynn, hello. Uh, Uday Esther, hi to everyone, Justine, and um, welcome back. And it's good to be back. And we've got our fire going. It's in the 60s in upstate New York, and it's clear, sunny, beautiful. Um, and we're doing our very, very best every single day to work on what's going on within each and every one of us as we do better to share that love and kindness and gratitude attitude every day. Uh, Tiffany, hello. Uh, Meg, hi to everyone. We are so, so, so grateful to everyone. We've been so busy um, since all this COVID stuff and, and the time off and, and really we're just, again, so grateful to everyone. We are working to handle everyone, but it's a challenge some days. So much coming our way. Sometimes we're going like this, but we want to take care of what's in front of us and we all have to be really really patient and i have to practice my patience every day also and it, again it's it's not always an easy concept to understand but we're all doing our very best to do better in that uh we are working on albany and syracuse ivf and transfers right now and surgeries uh but we're getting so full we need to be holding a few people off and it's taking a little longer to get our consults in and our follow-ups. But in the meantime, go to our website, cnyfertility.com, look at the patient portal and the resources. There's so many things we can do to better our mental and physical environment every day. And that's what we need to be practicing. Hey, Monica, good morning. Dottie Drew, hello. Cheryl Lynn, hi to everyone, and Ashley Carter. Uh, Laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, found, nothing found besides left ovary, uh, larger, let's see, I'm gonna work to answer questions. Uh, new protocol for, that's, we're working on all sorts of new protocols, really working on the immune protocols, uh, on the stimulation protocols, on what we can do to take care of this human Ferrari that we all have every day. And remember, you got to work on this and this every day. And things don't always work out the way we anticipate or expect them to, but they work out one way or another based on this energy called God or universe or nature. And we have to sit back to that, reduce our cortisol and epinephrine levels. At the same time, that allows the body to work better the blood flow into the core organs to work better and voila pregnancy increases by the way all right uh let's see mrs uh gina uh netter uh 29 pcos underactive thyroid husband has zero morphology two embryos possibly yes okay so this is not a yes or no to everyone it's always a possibly yes in general if you have a good blastocyst embryo and you're under 35, we recommend one. We recommend one in almost all occasions. We can sometimes begin to say, you know, maybe two and rarely three, but it's individualized. We'll look at them individually and help make that decision together. Recognizing there are risks with multiples. Uh, one is always gonna be the very best, in my opinion, and we're moving to that more and more and more and more worried about my slightly uh uh heart sh shape scheduled heart shaped uterus melissa so heart shaped uteruses are not so unusual a little bit of a heart shape at the top usually is not significant uh if it's the outside also not significant a hysteroscopy may be a good idea with a slight biopsy or DNC to evaluate that further, looking for inflammation. But that scratch and clean out may help with implantation. I use the may because 
this is not a business of like this is going to do it. And anything you do, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, uh, myomectomies, all have some risk. Unfortunately, we're going to do our very best to minimize and maximize the outcomes. By the way, uh, and don't forget on the zeromorphology, uh, look at the look at Dr. Kiltz's keto lifestyle on Amazon.com, where you can get a lot of advice on anti-inflammation. Look at our family building guide has a lot in there. Don't forget CBD oil, low dose naltrexone, daily meditation, one meal a day at night, uh, cook the carbs, add the fat, really helps a lot. Hey Donna and global team, all of our team members. Again, this is very, very stressful times for all of us. We need to continue to do the work internally, meditation, prayer, visualization, slow it down and think about a change all. Uh, Megan Dia, hello. Uh, how long after consult can I begin the process? Uh, we're working to get people going soon. It may be two to four weeks. In the meantime, think about keto, inflammation, dietary changes, mental approaches, physical approaches, and meditation, prayer visualization is so critical for all of us in this human environment and human experience. That's it. Um, so pretty quick, but remember a lot of what we're sharing for months and years, you have access to free of charge, nominal to download my uh, key Kiltz's keto and family building guide from Amazon. Uh, but we also have our fertile secret book, uh, my daily inspirations and meditation, which I practice. And if you go to drkiltz.com, uh, mind, body, smile, you can begin to practice some of these things yourself. Remember, you're responsible for the environment within. The more we practice this, the better for all of us uh, is really important. But my team is really working diligently, but there's like suddenly this the two months off and access quickly, and so many people are in the queue we're just got a little bit of patience we all have to work on as we're getting everyone moving forward. And uh, my embryology team's amazing, OR team's amazing, clinical team's amazing. Oh, by the way, everyone, make sure you have ordered HCG 10,000 and Lupron as a potential trigger. Have it on hand. If it's not in your order, tell the nurses you need your HCG and Lupron in the queue. So you can get it from either Metro, Integrity, or whoever you're getting it from. Have it on board and available. You can always use the HCG for a wash if you're not using it for a trigger. By the way, uh, we're really working to reduce inflammation, ovarian hyperstimulation. And remember, AMH doesn't say you will or won't have a baby. It doesn't tell us you have PCOS or not. But we use those as markers to identify the dosing of meds. Should you start on a little metformin, everyone should be doing keto, paleo, uh, add the LDN, CBD, um, add the omega-3s, uh, and the ovacetol, inositol can be really helpful, by the way. Subcurrent hemorrhage, if you can treat this, and would this be a harm to the baby when you're pregnant? This, uh, uh, let's see, Sewell, Sh uh, Shamika, hi, Shamika, very, very common subcurrent chematomas. I think it's inflammatory driven. It's our healthy diets, which are fruits, fiber, vegetables, lean meats, and eating like a grazing animal, not the carnivore-ish we really are. Uh, but uh, aspirin um, and Lovenox, if we see it, we usually hold it back. Although the ironic part is those are the important things to try to reduce the blood clot formation in the vessels, which cause the diminish of the blood flow to the placenta, which actually caused the separation, then the hematoma. So uh, it, again, it's, it's, you need to, in my opinion, not using it, uh, uh, it is, you need to be using it in many cases. And so many of us are suffering from some inflammation, adding these things are helpful. The problem is knowing exactly who needs it and who doesn't need it is not always a straightforward answer. Uh, day uh, day four, my transfer was Wednesday. Praying every day. Remember, just take the time. Thank you, God, Lord, Creator, Nature. Whatever energy you're using in belief system, grab onto it, hold onto it, but, but go with the flow of the ups and downs, the good, the bad, the easy, the hard. It is not easy. 
for sure. But changing what's in here changes what's out there. Really, really important. Happy Sunday, Jess. Uh, pleasure. Uh, Real Reads, Retrieval Tomorrow, Lining 15 on Friday. You can still do a fresh. 17 to 18 to 19 are still good. Linings, doctors, all over my centers. Fresh is always offered first. And day threes, I like to plan them. You can always push them to blast. But remember, if you have a, if you are on day five and there are no blasts, you can still transfer something. Or if you're planning to freeze, you can look, we look at it on day six and sometimes day seven. Uh, so again, lots of patience in this. Our egg thawing, we're, we're just, you know, we're so busy in our labs right now. We have to be safe and take care of everyone appropriately. So sometimes we may have, be able, have to say, you know what, we're going to either have to wait to next cycle, put you on the birth control pill, uh, or add some estrogen human growth hormone priming, and just wait a little bit longer in the process. It can be done that way, by the way. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of tea, remember, uh, and, and um, a little bit of water. Not too much. You don't want to overdo it, by the way. All right. Uh, hi, Denise. Uh, Luperlide uh, uh, Lupron, Luperlide Acetate Lupron. There's Depo Lupron, which is the, the IM shot, which lasts for one to three months. There's the daily subcutaneous shot. It's also used uh, for reduction of, of our LH and FSH prevent ovulation. Uh, but it also can be used for endometriosis along with letrozole or orlissa or depo. Uh, and then there's the Lupron uh, four milligram dosing, which we use for trigger shot, either one or two shots along with some HCG or no HCG. Uh, so all these things can be used in different parameters. But I always, again, do you have your HCG? Have it get it. Don't wait to get it. Uh, we have a great team that's capable of ordering it. And if you don't notice it on your order, you bug our team at all levels. Uh, and if you have an estrogen level less than 1500, you could do the 10,000 units. Uh, but if it's in the 2500 or above, it's either somewhere between none and 2,500 to 5,000 units as the trigger shot, by the way. We're really working hard to reduce ovarian hyperstimulation, but it still can happen, unfortunately. Uh, K.R. Renee, hello. LGBT storyline, hi there, how you doing? Scoop973, I primarily work out of Syracuse. Dr. Difkoff Grossman out of Albany, Dr. Chang out of uh, Buffalo, Buffalo IVF. Again, we've been, we've been working to get the IVF going just because of this kind of slowdown and shutdown. Uh, we've been a little bit on the slower side, and I apologize for that we're working diligently in Colorado with Dr. Magarelli. It's I've just like got a few more things to do, but if it gets signed by next week, all of us are praying that by July or August we're we'll going to be rocking and rolling. You can choose Albany, Syracuse. Uh, or Colorado. Sometimes we get filled up in our IVF in one location. We have to please, can you go to Albany or Syracuse instead? And again, we're really working diligently to know the numbers and keep us going. For so long, we've just been going, keeping, keeping moving, but now it's so busy. We want to make sure we're focused. Our global team is growing. Our OR team is growing. Our clinical and laboratory teams are growing to be able to take care of you, your sperm, your eggs, your embryos, your uterus, and all of that, by the way. Uh, uh, hi, Rebecca May. Hello to everyone. Ooh, a big wave, Joanna. Uh, and if your eggs are not working because the bad quality of uh, diminished ovarian function, don't forget keto, CBD, uh, change your diet, uh, add the DHEA, uh, and don't forget to consider donor eggs as an option. And if you bring your own egg donors, uh, the price is a lot less. We'll work with you to get the screening for your donor, but we're really working on donors from all over the country and the world. Uh, our donor program is just, just get your name in there and everyone, all of us, me included, number one, patience in the process every single day. It's not easy to be patient. 
It's not easy not to be angry or sad or regretful, but we all need to work on this every day and know that the master of the universe is always has our back and working with us all together to make it better. Uh, egg freezing before hysterectomy. Uh, Rachel Love, yes, we can do that. Uh, talk to our team. We'll get you in as fast as we can. Again, but we want to do it properly. Uh, loves and hugs and although our masks we're wearing, but you know, it's like we're it's 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 opening up. We all have to be patient, be safe. Uh, this COVID stuff is just part of the universe and we're going with it along with all of this we all matter in the universe and we have to take care of those we haven't been properly taken care of and we all have to get in the flow of doing that for each and every one of us with love and kindness and i'm so grateful to everyone for being so supportive but we all need to be supportive of you on this journey by the way 42 hours of fasting, I've read it's great for autof... Yes, uh, the intermittent feasting, I call it, which is one meal a day or less. Fasting is the lasting. Remember, the universe only burns fat. Let me get this. The fat that we all carry, right? And fat is the fuel for the Ferraris we all are, the lionesses and the lions. We need to remember that we eat... We're not grazing animals. We are hunters and it's a crazy one uh, but the more i learn about this the more i'm amazed and yes fasting is lasting uh, you should go we should all go with less uh in this um uh, and uh i gotta call nurse sarah back uh and organize our next week um and and uh shout out to miss sophia and I'll, i got another 30 minutes i'll get back to you guys if you're okay let me just uh I'm doing my live. I'll get you in about 35, 40 minutes, if that's okay. All right. She'll let me know. Sarah and the OR team in Syracuse and Stace and the OR team in Albany. I'm just really proud of They're really, really, really working so hard. And um, But we are grateful to you guys for even choosing to come to us, by the way. Uh, eat in the morning of transfer. Yes, uh, Shelb. Yes, you can. Uh Remember, I say at night is best. You want to keep that digestive system down low. Remember, to keep on feeding and fueling the, the compost heap, uh, it's just, uh, it's simmering with the, uh, uh, gas and heat and alcohol and aldehydes, which is trashing everything inside of this. Low King, hi, since I have an anti-cardiolipin antibody. All right. So ANA, ACA, lupus, all the anticardiolipin antibodies are the, are the cellular wall uh, antigen antibody interactions which damage the cellular wall. And so aspirin, Lovenox, and steroids, Kiltus Keto, LDN, and CBD, and the omega-3s. And don't forget, look at inositol, uh, really, really does help tremendously, by the way. All right, how you guys doing? Does the embryos have to be freezing to pick the sex? Yeah, in order to do gender selection, you do uh, you buy you grow the embryos to blast a five, six, or seven. You biopsy them, and then you freeze the embryos. We take the little piece of the embryo. I gotta find the uh, soccer ball. Hold on. I should put some air in the sock, soccer ball because I'm full of a lot of hot air, right? Uh, and basically, you biopsy a part of the external part of the embryo and then we identify if it's male female or we look at the other chromosomal components looking for aneuploidy euploidy or other single gene disorders uh you have to biopsy then freeze the embryos and wait till we get that by the way era for pregnancy for pregnancy in the past all chromosomal losses finally for normal embryos uh, ERA can be helpful. Hysteroscopy, laparoscopy, ERA can be helpful. Don't forget PRP and, um, and uh, HCG washes. And we offer embryo glue, and we're really working diligently to get uh, everyone offered that uh, in the process. Uh, transfer the first of the month, the beta is next Wednesday. Uh, Dr. Corley, Dr. Lutheringer, Dr. Chang, Dr. Dipkoff, Dr. Grossman, I honor 
all of you guys, oh, Dr. D'Souza, Dr. Verdi Alice, uh, and in uh, Montreal, uh, Dr. Faruqi. Uh, and we're praying for the positive outcomes. Once you're pregnant, stay as kilts as keto as you can. Stay on your medications. Uh, we're switching a little bit between Prograf and Plaquenil. Stay on the prednisone. Go longer with the progesterone. Uh, and remember, slow it down, cool it down. Heat is not good for our bodies. Uh, repetitive motion friction is also not good. Uh, but so again, autoimmune diseases, inflammation, uh, antiphospholipid antibodies, uh, basically it's an immune protocol. And don't forget, if you go to my website, uh, drkilts.com or cmyfertility.com and look at the resources section. And if you go to Amazon, you can look at the Kiltz's Keto and the Family Building Guide. It has really a lot of information on all the things that we're talking about here, by the way. I uh, wouldn't need to have a, a flow to start stims. Uh, they want me to have baselines before flow. Uh, a lot of women who don't have regular cycles, so they don't get their periods. You could still start your stimulation at any time. Many women with polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS like don't ovulate, have thin linings. Um, if you do a scan and notice a thin lining and you're not, you don't have any ovulatory follicles, just go ahead and start your stims, uh, Lydia, uh, by the way. So again, um, a lot of what we do is, in, is way different than we used to do. What we've learned, if we stay on what we've learned and we're not learning new and different or not doing differently, we get stuck and we want to unstick all of us. The times in life is always shifting and changing. We need to all be open to that. Uh, how quickly are the donor lists growing so far? The wait lists are, uh, wait lists is crazy. We have so many people asking for donors. Uh, but if you look at, go out there, anyone want to donate for me? Bring in your own donor, do a shared cycle. Uh, but it's, if you want to bring in donor eggs from another agency, we take those also. Uh, so, you know, the lines, it's, it's, it's a little crazy some days. Thanks everyone for being so patient with me, by the way. I really appreciate it. And I missed you guys over the last week plus and much love to everyone out there uh, as we're journeying to share uh, connections and love and kindness and a better attitude of gratitude for all of us that we must all be better in our connection to others. And we must recognize that life is a challenge for everyone. FSH 17, which means I have a small chance of getting pregnant. Uh, Eva, not necessarily. You gotta, you, sometimes we get biased by the numbers. The numbers sometimes lie. They say, oh, your FSH is high, your AMH is low, you'll never get pregnant. Well, if you believe that, then your worry and cortisol and epinephrine even reduce more the blood flow to the ovaries and to the testicles. You want to change it up, by the way. You want to... Uh, believe in the unbelievable remember have faith first uh and remember kilts is keto is fertile for so many reasons and it's amazing but uh, uh keep that going and you can do a duo stems low doses we do a lot of low dose protocols by the way uh 200 of gonal or follow stem 20 of hcg or a 150 75 gonal menopure with a little bit of human growth the six units uh, usually starting on day one, two of the cycle, uh, and then a, a antagonist with an HCG 10,000 trigger. Uh, we've seen, and then do a duo stem or triple stem in the process, by the way. Uh, let's see, Michelle Davis. Hi, can constipation, bad digestion play a role in failed transfer? Absolutely. Remember, the belly is the bucket where the bowels are sitting right on top of the uterus, tubes, and ovaries. And when the when you have it, it's not the constipation the way you think of it. I always say it's inflammation. If there's a lot of inflammations in the colon, it sits right on top of the ovaries, uterus, and tubes. And not only the direct contact because of the heat, gas, alkaline, and aldehyde, but the lymphatic and blood flow that goes all over the body and absolutely adversely affects the uterus. Remember, just think of it as dust all over our bodies. It's microscopic dust and you cannot see it, touch it, feel it. It's happening below us everywhere. We see it in our skin, in our bowels, in our brains, in our eyesight, our hearing, everywhere in our body, this dust from what we put in the mind and the mouth and the drinks and everything. And remember the thinking, ill 
negative thinking leads to more disorder within our bodies. So absolutely this constipation, worrying about even having a bowel movement, if you just be patient, it will come. I suffered for 50 plus years before I changed to carnivore. Finally, it's the bleeding's gone. The, the, all the problems are gone. Now I'm still a little neurotic, and uh, but I'm grateful to all the learning I'm I'm getting every single day. Uh, next second transfer next week. I wasn't aware about doing keto during. Uh, look at if you're missing keto, you haven't been watching Kilsa's craziness. It's everyone should be doing some form of keto or paleo, in my opinion. Whether you're a vegan or vegetarian or standard eater, a pescatarian, whatever it is. You need to be learning the tra the tricks of the trade. And Maria and Craig Emmerich, check out their stuff. Maria and I are, and Craig are working on a book together. It's about fertility and how food, it, it, it fertilizes the trail for the fertility you desire in this process. But absolutely, uh, in my opinion, it's one meal a day. It's a high fat, low carb, cook the carbs. It's even no carbs. And for me, it's very, very low. If you go to my uh, Dr. Kiltz's uh, Keto Lifestyle Plan on Amazon, uh, download it on Kindle, look at our website. I've done a TEDx talk on it. It changed my life and it's 64. I'm really, really just uh, like so, so, I'm a kid in a candy store that found something that I would bet a billion dollars just knocks the socks off and the ball out of the park for every single disease we suffer from. I've seen 44, 45 suddenly get pregnant naturally because they simply did my diet or Emmerich's diet or some dietary change that really rocks the universe. Plants are the predators and they cause infertility, they cause cancer and every disease we suffer from. That's as simple as that. Thanks for sticking to my craziness, by the way. No history of genetic disorders. Would you still recommend genetic testing of embryo? Jessica Moreno. I do not recommend uh, uh, biopsying of embryos to identify if it's a normal kindergartner or an abnormal kindergartner, which I don't even know that you and I have the ability to label and decide from anything. As we know, the, the judgment from what we see on the outside has nothing to do with the truth and reality of who and what we are as human beings. We all are the same, and this judgment of an embryo, in my opinion, is not good to do. So that's my two cents. Uh, no history. Let's see. Hello, I was told my FSH 17. Uh, and, well, how do you improve a low AMH, a high FSH, a high inflammatory environment for any of us? Same way, right? Keto, keto, keto. One meal a day or less at night, rest and digest. Add the fat, reduce the carbs, reduce even the lean protein. Uh, but remember, variety is deadly for the human Ferrari, the lioness and the lion king plan. Uh, so, uh, but uh, uh, DHEA, low dose naltrexone, the CBD, um, and uh, human growth hormone. And then the estrogen HGH priming can be very helpful also. Remember, the damage to the organs in here is due to what you put in the bucket. That's a simple story, by the way. Uh, R.A. Uh, Morel, how are you doing? Thank you very much, by the way. And we all want to share peace and love to everyone in this globe, in this universe. And when you reflect that within your mind, the vibration, the light opens up for all of us in so many more ways. Uh, Astold uh, Byri, hi, how you doing? Okay, hi. Uh, I am waving a hello and gratitude attitude to everyone. Uh, uh, FED coming up in a few weeks. I am now just learning about HCG wash, embryo glue, PRP wash. Um, you know, should everyone, uh, uh, Quilinda, uh, I think we should all, you know, this is why I put my entire list. My sheets are getting a little uh, messed up, but if you go to my uh, simple guide and uh, there's a lot of good information, uh, and if you just flip through it, there's huge lists of things and to do and change it up. But um, 
uh, we're, I, you know, so I'm trying, working, practicing, getting all this information out to the universe every day. Uh, I'm likely going to maybe do a little of the weekly stuff, Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday off, Sunday at 10, Monday through Thursday, 8 p.m., just a half an hour. I'm going to work to continue, but I too need my rest and shavasana uh, in order to be rejuvenated for the the busyness that we have at our beautiful uh, 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 centers, and our and our spa team is coming back. Our acupuncture team is back. Uh, remember, practice every single day. By the way, and when you add the embryo glue or the HCG and uh, and the um, uh, PRP washes, you can add them all today. Uh, ERA, laparoscopy, hysteroscopy. Uh, these are all the things that are part of the list that I can do, but sometimes it can be overwhelming when we're throwing too much at it. It's like my paintings where I sometimes have to just stop putting too much color, too much movement into the acrylic mud mud bath. Uh, 41, do you uh, do multiple embryos transfer at one time? MZ Deluxe. Del Deluxe. Uh, yes, you can do two. Uh, to three over 41. Again, individualized. I'm giving a general, general uh, 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 options, but um, we're really working for one or two, uh, and it's individualized determined. How's everyone doing? Let's see. I'm going to be doing a... Um, a Zoom today at 11.30... Uh, and I'll get you more information, um, about it, uh, and just more sharing about ideas, uh, Roseanne Austin, uh, fertility coach. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I don't know if everyone can get on it, but again, it's uh, Roseanne Austin, 1130 today. I'm going to be doing a Zoom, um, and excited to be doing that and sharing ideas how... Uh, we can change it by simply changing what's here. And if you look at my my book, The Fertile Secret, and I kind of stole it from Rhonda uh, Rhonda Byrne from The Secret, uh, we're learning about faith first. Uh, it's the most important thing that we forget in this Western medical experience and journey. Uh, but we all need to practice uh, meditation and prayer every day. Uh, no matter what your belief in this higher outside power, remember, it's all within each and every one of us. Elizabeth Braswell, awesome. Alisa, uh, Alyssa Williams, hi, hi. And remember, all the things we're sharing, and remember, uh, keep practicing your natural fertility. Keep connecting with your partner in loving, kind ways. And remember, we're soon going to be shedding the masks and the... And the this social distancing because we as a human animal are coming together because it's required for the natural normal vibration uh, of this of this human being we're herd animals and to be a social uh, recluse is not good for us it can be done for a little bit of time but that's about it as i've been doing it's good to do some some come deep within and that's where credit meditation and prayer visualization can be very powerful for each and every one of us every single day remember faith first food second and remember all that leads to a fertile life whether you're seeking a family building with children or just seeking to build the vibration within yourself and sharing it with others in more positive loving kind ways that's our journey in this joy ride called life and we have to accept all the things that come as part of god's gifts for each of us to grow and learn every day uh cara regina consul with uh, tanya from upstate and she uh, uh peripheral carrier type analysis done for both my partner uh, what knowledge will we obtain from that? So the the karyotyping may teach us whether or not there may be uh, some translocation abnormalities or other chromosomal abnormalities that may be contributing to your infertility or repetitive losses. Tanya is excellent. Get a lot of good information from that. 
Don't forget to look at the sperm, uh, look at the uh, uh, ultrasound of the pelvis, saline sonogram, HSG. Uh, look at general immunologic uh, uh, environment, the thyroid, prolactin, uh, AMH, uh, uh, TSH, FSH, is, all these are really critical. Uh, but sometimes, sometimes, we look at something and we find an abnormality and then we focus on that we're distracted from maybe we should just do a global taking care of this human amazing uh, um, temple. Remember, we're the temple. Take care of the temple and everyone else's temple. The more we can do that for ourselves and others, the better. We are not an amusement park, and the more we think of it as that, we don't take care of ourselves on all levels. But uh, yes, uh, doing the karyotype, I think, is helpful for all fertility issues, even though it might be a low yield. And sometimes it doesn't necessarily come up with, like, it might have a karyotypic abnormality, but that might not be the cause. Inflammation is still the cause, by the way. New beginnings. Hi, Sarah. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Sarah. Uh, Sarah JKP99. See, uh, Kavola, hello. Uh, define beauty by uh, Dan Danny, hello. Uh, and we're just really, uh, we've all, we're all feeling like the locked up, the cooped up. And the seed wants to like break out of the shell, right? We want to like connect. I was out, the peonies are finally beginning to blossom. All the other flowers pretty much have been out and about, but the peonies up here in upstate New York are just coming coming today, tomorrow. And so I take a lot of pictures. I really love to see nature. And the moss and the algae is everywhere. And life is working always to grow and expand and reproduce. And we have to accept some of the hardships of life that don't make sense to us, but somehow the universe knows what it's doing in this journey called life. Uh, said rate came back at 20, considered borderline high, APTT lupus came back borderline elevated, start up baby aspirin, aspirin 81 to 100 milligrams. And I'm reading some articles that even aspirin once you're pregnant reduces the risk of preeclampsia. I think it's kind of like should be in the water, but again, like can't water just be water? but we don't see what's in most of our water and uh, uh, not too much water, but remember, meditation is breath and smile. Breath and smile is the real meditation of life. And the more you just breathe, we all need to be breathing and we all need to give access to breathing to everyone. We all are shouting out because we cannot breathe and we need to breathe. We all need to work together to give breath to everyone. And breath and smile builds life better for everyone. That's what we need to be doing. And yes, Lovenox, aspirin, Plaquenil, prednisone, Neupogen, uh, anti-inflammatory. Remember, add the fat. Fat is fuel for the Ferrari. And in my opinion, fried foods are low-fat foods, by the way. Uh, fried foods are like boiling in water, it all drips off and you're just eating the carb or the protein, which ultimately damages the liver and every nook and cranny of our body, by the way. Uh, yes, even after pregnancy, you may want to do the aspirin uh, and the Lovenox and stay on it longer to nearly term, if not beyond, but you got to work with your OBGYN, your high risk doc, uh, your fertility docs, your reproductive endocrinologist, and I'm grateful to all the primary cares, the, the holistic practitioners, uh, the chiropractors, the acupuncturists. We're all working together to share ideas of true health and wellness. Remember, it always starts in the mind first. Then it vibrates to every nook and cranny. And when you practice that, you all feel better. Even when we're, quote, this term healthy is a man-made term. Health and wellness is built in the mind, not in what you put in the mouth as much as you think. But remember, a healthy diet is high fat, low to no carbs. Once a day, get off the treadmill and stop eating all the fiber deadly for the human animal. Uh, lost our son at 20 weeks. I'm so sorry for that. Uh, Kippelfield syndrome. Absolutely be requ uh, requesting every amount of genetic testing possible. 
Uh, if there's genetic testing for that, we'll do everything we can to identify that. Uh, this may be a spontaneous abnormality, but we wanna look and help identify these things. And remember, I'm not opposed to any testing you desire. We will help you with every bit of it as you desire, by the way. Uh, Angel at Law, uh, do one meal a day. Can you take supplement CBD on an empty stomach? I think you can. Uh, but, you know, sometimes it's always easier to do it at the same time with that meal. Uh, because when you put stuff in this, this Ferrari fuel tank, uh, remember, the fuel tank is the fat. The, the, the digestive system is the, is the compost digestive uh, plant that makes the, the products that must go to the liver to convert to the fat in order to make the real fuel. Uh, but remember, what's in your stomach is not the fuel you're burning. And I'm sorry, we do not burn sugar ever. We make fat, burn fat, that's the fuel. And if you can't make it, you die. That's the craziness. Uh, Michelle, hello, how you doing? Um, my gratitude and love to everyone out there. And thank you for having um, uh, respect uh, for each and every person in this universe. That's our job in life and dedication. And thank you for coming and listening. And I'm so appreciative to that. And our job is to listen and learn and be respectful to each and every person in this universe. And the more we all practice that, the better we will be in life. And remember, we all have the right to speak our minds, our voices, and we should all take the time to listen and learn from others that feel that they are not heard. So important, each and every one of us. Uh, just can't get anyone to answer the phone. I really, Monica, Lynn, I really, and Jessica, it's been a craziness, and I'm working on getting more to help answer the more each and every one of us help with that, but I don't want to raise prices. I want to keep them affordable. We want to be able to take care of everyone. We still have our payment plans. We're doing 25% down. Uh, we're working individually with each and every person to make this a great, great experience. It takes a lot of patience for each and every one of us. Uh, keep reaching out, keep being patient. Uh, the team is there through the correspondence, uh, but uh, if you got my number, 315-416-9872, please, if I can't answer it directly, I pass it on. Uh, we're working on our global team growing, Colorado, Atlanta, uh, Montreal, uh, Buffalo soon, but our Albany and Syracuse are really, they're feeling the, the, the so much happening. We all need to be patient, go slow with the flow. Uh, if it's not happening right now, we just have to say, okay, not happening, but you got my number. I'm going to do my very, very best. Uh, Ashley, over 120 pounds on keto uh, at the end of the month. Uh, listen, keto is kick-ass, the Ferrari fuel way to do it. Kills is keto, Emmer keto. I've seen the change all. One meal a day is my opinion. Get off the treadmill. I don't you know, want to go out for a walk, hanging out with a friend, a partner, uh, remember, um, we got to get back together, hugging and loving and connections. That's our energy. We need to we need to pull out the flower power for all of us. And flowers are just saying, "Hey, mate, with me. I'm your friend." Listen, the universe is making babies, and we're all part of it. We need to do it in a more loving, kind, generous ways. By the way, uh, contact with someone in charge of New York C N Y. No, M, no, uh, Naomi Valdez, uh, check me out, by the way. Uh, we're going to get you moving on the process. Justine, uh, our whole team again, but you can text me, uh, uh, J, uh, Justine, J Taylor at CMI Fertility, our kills at CMI Fertility. We are really working our very best. And a lot of it is, hey, I haven't heard from anyone. It's taking a few extra weeks. Uh, in the meantime, work on the keto, work on all these things. At least we're open. And we have so many people that are just been waiting, waiting, waiting. And they're like, woo, they're coming straight at us. And we are there for you. Open arms. We're going to do our very, 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 very best. And I appreciate your patience. And I apologize for the wait and the challenges in any of this. 
uh, it's now wait seven days for monitoring after starting stims. I don't like what I'm working to do is sometimes to get started. Uh, once you start your stims, yes, six to seven days is not unusual because we're finding that we almost never make a change at the five or six day. So seven or eight is very common. Uh, we're mapping out when to start the cetratide. We're working on more and more and more efficient ways in this process. Uh, I know it's some days it's a shit show, but we're really making shit the fertilizer and we're going to put it in this universe and we're all going to learn together. And when we have to imagine that the big guy or gal that's got our back is really the, the, the motion of all of this. And the more we can sit still and hold love and faith and patience to everyone and everything, sometimes we react but we want to be the responsible ones to respond with love first. That's what I'm working on. I got to work on it. Uh, my third transfer failed. This is a good quality day three. One mine, one donor. I'm going into a fourth transfer. I've quit coffee and I'm doing keto. If this one fails too, what next? If you haven't had the laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, ERA, uh, HCG, PRP primes, uh, or, or washes, embryo glue, uh, kilts is keto, is close or kilts or emmerich keto. It's going to be kilts and emmerich uh, or EK, emmerich kilts. Uh, all these things. Don't forget your stational carrier. Sometimes the uterus just is not the right environment for you. Think about a friend, a family member, or someone you met online. Hey, can you carry a baby for me? We're all giving. Us human beings are the most giving, loving entities, and we have the capacity to do it more and more and more. So look at the everything list, go to the resource page, the patient portal, and look at the simple guide. And I've got my 30, 30 idea list. I'll look at them all, follow up with one of us. It may take one to four weeks to get a follow up with anyone in the team in the process. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience. Uh, we all need it. It takes a village. It does. Happy Sunday, by the way, SMBC. Uh, Yulia, uh, uh, we're praying for you guys uh, every day, every day. Uh, do you recommend frozen transfer or fresh? Uh, Lily Oliver, I recommend both, by the way. I think both fresh and frozen work nicely. Um, so it's all individualized. If you have a very high progesterone at trigger, then I'd recommend a freeze all, usually over two to three. Uh, and again, we have a little bit more laxity. I recommend a lot of day threes. Uh, if you have five, four or fewer, do a day three, five or more, consider blast. But if, if it's donor eggs, you have two, and your eggs, you have two, do a day three. We're seeing so much success, and it's always better an embryo in you than in the trash, by the way. That's my opinion. Uh, I don't, uh, if I don't secure add on donor eggs by retrieval this month, can I, yes, you can do a transfer. You could still add on the donor eggs later at a discounted price. And we're here to help in so many ways. Uh, but if you do a payment plan, you got to make the payments. I can't do this without the river of energy to allow our team who are working so amazingly hard and dedicated. And I'm so grateful. And to all of you for traveling all over the globe. Uh, all over this country, and learning from each and every one of you. Uh, shout out to Dr. Isaacson, Dr. March for helping on the hysteroscopies for those who have really bad uterine environments. If they can help, fantastic. But all the OBGYNs, all the REs, uh, all the gynecologists that specialize in the surgeries, uh, we're really grateful to everyone and all of us practicing, working together every single day. The more we do it, the more amazing things come to all of us, by the way. ICSI is included. It's not free. It's included in the IVF $3,900 uh, uh, cycle. Uh, remember, if you're bringing your own donor, donor you're going to get an IVF for the $3,900 plus the monitoring uh, uh, and and uh, the, the screening and the meds for that donor, by the way. So we really are working on ways to keep the pricing low, not do all this hidden fees. Uh, really, uh, between our surrogacy, we do surrogacy. It's legal in New York. 
Um, you might want to have an attorney help you with that. You, not necessary. Uh, and you want, might want to use an agency. Not necessary. We'll work with your agency, uh, with your lawyers individually, uh, or, or uh, your partner as a team. We're part of the team with you and for you. And again, really gratitude attitude for all of this, by the way. Uh, I don't know the, uh, the transfer fee, but our team can help you with that, by the way. Recommend testing for Factor V Leiden. That's an excellent question. And whether everyone should get it, um, we're treating with Lovenox and aspirin and, and uh, prednisone. So we're covering most of these bases in our immune protocols, one, two, three, and four. Three, four, uh, I'm sorry, two, three, and four at Lovenox. Level one is a steroid antibiotic, um, steroid antibiotic, and there's a few others in there, but uh, it's, it doesn't require the, uh, the lipids or the Lovenox, uh, uh, the vitamins, and also don't forget the keto, keto, keto. Everyone doing okay? Thanks for joining me. Sunday, Fireside Chat, 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Time, and I'm going to do the Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m., half an hour, uh, just the uh, the connections to keep us all flowing and knowing there's a lot of stuff going on in the universe. Just go with the flow and recognize it's part of what God has created for all of us. Will a myomectomy ruin the chance of a good egg retrieval? Last two retrievals were bad and I cannot put off this surgery. Actually, the myomectomy might help you because I think it's a nidus of inflammation uh, De, uh, De Santa Rose, um, and I think removing them can help. Also, you might have some endo to remove. That can help uh, a lot. Uh, we do a lot of Lupron or Alyssa Letrozole for fibroids and adeno uh, and endo uh, 30 to 60 days prior. That might be another helpful thing. And don't forget, what am I going to say? Brother Ray, keto, 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 keto. Kilts is keto, kick ass. Uh, by the way, I am not overweight by the charts, Melissa. Uh, we don't look at weight, by the way. Weight is not the cause of disease, but it's an indication if you're, quote, overweight, that you are eating a high carb, high fiber, low fat diet, in my opinion. If you switch to keto one meal a day, even without the weight loss, the inflammation will go down and pregnancy rates will come up or you'll more likely stay pregnant if you get pregnant, by the way. Uh, Denise Fowler, hello. Uh, let's see, uh, 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 Sh uh, Shelly, hello, uh, Dottie Drew, hello, uh, Gina Smith, hello, um, uh, Monday, Tuesday of this week is Patience Days, very, very, very rocking busy, I'm working on uh, uh, doing uh, our OR and our retrievals, we're really just grateful for our uh, uh, Chag Anesthesia Team, uh, Hildreth, uh, uh, let's see if I, uh, uh, Can Canfield, uh, Chaffel, Mora, uh, mm, Piper, uh, I'm getting to all of them and I missed some of them and I apologize, but really an amazing team. Uh, Taylor Renee, hello. Uh, uh, let's see, able to do, are you able to do it during retrieval? We are able to, but we're not able to because of the time constraints. There may be days we're able to do that. We typically don't recommend the laparoscopy hysteroscopy with retrieval, but we can often do the hysteroscopy with retrieval, and we're really working to make sure we're able to do that uh, all fold for everyone. But again, some days, because of our timing and it's so busy, and our, it's just not always possible. Uh, I'm working on Colorado very rapidly, quickly. Dr. Mangarelli and the team is also very anxious, almost there. Few little things to take into account, and we're getting there. Uh, Angel McCord, thank you. Stay away from getting ready for an IVF. Jennifer, uh, look at the stuff I recommend in our keto and our, in our family building guide, uh, but slow it down. Um, stay away from alcohol. Fruits and fiber and vegetables to me are deadly for the human Ferrari. Those are grass eater foods where carnivore eaters, in my opinion, but omnivores, remember one meal a day, uh, add the fat. And if you're a vegan, same thing, one meal a day, cook the carbs well and add the fat. Uh, eat a coconut, uh, hemp seed oil, 
a little olive oil. Those are the things. Uh, coconut oil, I think, is probably the best one of all of them, by the way. Uh, Gina Smith, uh, let's see. Amy, we love you guys, Margolis. So nice to hear from you guys. And remember, share the story. Even if those friends and family members are not suffering from infertility, repetitive losses, but they simply want to improve their health and wellness in life. I'm working on, hopefully I'm going to get to my keto conversation where I'm focused on inflammation and keto and health and wellness for all of us, not just those that are suffering from fertility issues, by the way. Uh, keto for everyone. Yes, keto is kick-ass, the most sustainable lower inflammation it makes your brain work better my opinion the healthy diet as we have labeled it is the cause of every disease low fat high carbs fruits and vegetables are sugar plant antigens plant chemicals that are actually causing every disease we have including cancer by the way ashley nicole fresh turns are two embryos last month we did glue hcg wash uh if you haven't done a laparoscopy a steroscopy, Think about that. Talk to your gynecologist or your fertility docs, wherever you are. You may simply do a natural, uh, either natural trigger transfer or letrozole trigger transfer. Sometimes less is best. That's what we need to be ta tackling and practicing. Less is best. The more we can do that, wow, the universe unfolds for each and every one of us. Remember, let's all lead the day with recognizing that we all need to be listening and learning from each and every one of us. And yes, there is a lot of suffering in the world. And when we can listen and learn about those that are suffering, we can listen and learn and give more love and faith and kindness. And remember, we're herd animals. We want to hug. We want to be the hugging herd, uh, not the rampaging herd. And the more we do that and learn from each other, the better. All right. Thank you for listening to my craziness. Uh, Mind, body, smile, drkilts.com. Uh, thank you for learning and listening. Uh, G. Uh, Barry uh, E. Greer. Hi. Uh, IVF. And don't give up on the on make the appointment. Uh, we're working on our new on our new appointment that you can make yourself. Get connected with one of our global team members. Uh, and really make this a home run for everyone. You can, right now we're doing a 5% discount if you pay up front. We've gone to 650 for Frozen, 650 for IUIs, but we're still doing our discount for our fourth if you have been making your payments or in the payment process. But remember, 5% discount if you pay 100% up front. Uh, and an extra 5% if you're a vet uh, or in the military. And there's a lot of little things, but keep on sharing affordability access keto 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 and remember the keto term is just kind of a global term that we we got to recognize that there's lots of different ways to do things and we want to learn the way for the narrow as an arrow we are the human ferraris the human temples we are the lionesses and lions we need to treat ourselves in the mirror and we want to foster love and kindness in this miracle machine as we're sharing it to everyone in this universe in our life evolving, learning and understanding about the miracle and majesty of just being in the alive category. Uh, look at my website uh, uh, on my keto and keto for everything and everyone. One minute. Practice slowing down and opening breathing and love to yourself and everyone else every single day. That's our practice. Even when it's hard, we must do it. Don't give up on calling, by the way. Uh, have the assured plan. We do have the assured plan. Uh, we have a guarantee plan. We work with many other plans out there that will help fold you into this program. Uh, so don't give up. By the way, uh, transfer next month, is it too late to start keto? No, you can start your keto once you've already done a transfer. All right, God bless you guys. I'll see you on Monday. And again, uh, see you maybe with, uh, let's see, uh, Roseanne Austin. God bless to everyone. See you guys. Stay keto, stay loving and kind. Bye.
Bye, everyone.